if you want to study dual form dual form a very important topic in digital electronics then you must know positive and negative logic in this presentation we are going to complete positive and negative logic so that we may start dual form from next presentation on the left hand side I will explain positive logic and on the right hand side I will explain negative logic you already know about the positive logic because we were dealing with positive logic till now so I will complete it quickly and we will compare positive logic with negative logic and finally we will solve few examples so let's start with positive logic first the only thing that you have to keep in your mind regarding the positive logic is the higher voltage corresponds to logic 1 the higher voltage corresponds to logic 1 and the lower voltage the lower voltage will correspond to logic 0 so this is the only thing that you have to keep in your mind regarding the positive logic and uh, if this is the case then we can say that if we have 5 volts if we have 5 volts then it will correspond to logic 1 because high voltage is equivalent to logic 1 in positive logic and uh, if we have 0 volts then uh, we can say that it will correspond to logic uh, 0 so positive logic is pretty straightforward it only says that you have to assign the logic 1 to the higher value and you have to assign logic 0 to the lower value so this is only thing that you have to know and uh, in case of negative logic everything is reversed if you have if you have the higher voltage then it will correspond to it will correspond to logic 0 so we have reversed the condition when the high voltage was there in positive logic we represented it by logic 1 but when high voltage is there in negative logic we will represent it by logic 0 and in the same way if low voltage is there then it will be represented by logic 1 so we can say that if we have 5 volts in negative logic then it will be represented as logic 0 because this is the higher value and if you have 0 volts then it will be represented as logic 1 because this is the lower value and in exam also there may be some problems depending upon the positive and negative logic so let's practice one problem and we will end this presentation after it so example and in this example we have logic 0 and this logic 0 corresponds to minus 5 volt then we have logic 1 and this logic 1 corresponds to 0 or volt then we have to find out what type of logic it is it is positive logic or it is negative logic so the first thing that we have to do is to find out the greater value the voltage that is higher if we compare the voltages 0 volt and minus 5 volt then obviously 0 volt is greater than minus 5 volts and if we are dealing with the positive logic then this 0 must be represented as logic 1 because this is the higher value minus 5 is lower and it will be represented as 0 in case of positive logic so this is for positive logic and uh, when we have negative logic then this 0 is represented by 0 and this minus 5 is represented by 1 this is very simple and this case is for the negative logic let's see what is given in the problem logic 0 corresponds to minus 5 and logic 1 corresponds to 0 it means it is positive logic it is positive logic a very simple problem and uh, in the same way if you have logic 0 corresponds to minus 1.7 volt and uh, logic 1 corresponds to 
minus 0.8 volt then you have to find out whether it is positive logic or negative logic I'm not going to solve it you have to solve it and uh, once you have your answer post it in the comment section I hope you now know what is the difference between the positive logic and negative logic and how to solve problems based on this topic from the next presentation we will start with dual form a very important topic